Hi everyone, uh, very welcome to this webinar on SAP Salesforce and Slack integration. Nowadays, a lot of integration is being done with no code and they are very quick and it's our effort to show you how quickly we can integrate complex environment like SAP Salesforce and Slack. Um, so um, I also have my colleague Sakshi. So Sakshi, um, how are you doing today? Uh, it is good, thank you. Okay, so Sachi, why don't you quickly introduce yourself and you know uh, take us through what you are going to demonstrate today? Okay, um, thank you, Salendu, for giving me the opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, I'm Sachi Singh, and uh, I'm working as associate uh, onboarding manager. Uh, I, uh, I love to integrate uh, different applications such as SaaS based application with the ERP. And I have also worked with different clients to integrate their application as per their requirement. Yeah. And if I'm not working, I love to do origami work like uh, doing art and craft. And uh, yeah, also uh, I love exploring new places. Um, so for moving. people who do not know Sakshi, uh, she's a Salesforce integration specialist and I have personally seen her uh, craft work. They are like really awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Zalindu. Um, yes, uh, coming to our next point, uh, it is our business case. Uh, let us take uh, uh, like uh, Agile Bearing Incorporated uh, company, uh, like sales representative. Uh, they do not have uh, like access to SAP and they can only use uh, like uh, move around the sales area. Let us consider like sales rep uh, want to create a new order in Salesforce and they want to sync the order to SAP, that is uh, their business process. They want to sing. If the sales uh, sales rep are uh, like uh, uh, have placed the order and the order are not sing to SAP, then they want to get notification uh, like uh, uh, like in Slack or uh, Teams, whatever they want. So in order to implement this case, uh, we have uh, like. Um, we have done uh, the process flow. So let's start with our demo then. Uh, in order to demonstrate... And, uh, we just to add Sakshi to that, uh, this is the pretty usual case where the sales rep are on the field, they're moving um, and they're meeting customers. They usually do not have access to SAP um, at that point of time. Uh, and this is one of the first requirement uh, wherever you know Salesforce SAP integration is concerned that, you know, if the sales rep are punching their orders on Salesforce from the mobile device, maybe they need it to flow to SAP. And um, and uh, very interesting that you are also uh, showing how the customer service people, they can get to know, you know, if there's any failure or an order block in SAP. So in order to demonstrate that, I will go to AppC Connect Cloud. For the integration purpose, we have created process flow. In order to create process flow, we need to go to design. We can see here in left side uh, design. And then we have uh, uh, we have an option for process flow. And with the new button, we can create a, a like process flow based on our requirement. So for the demo purpose, we have uh, created a uh, a process and let, let us go to it. So uh, this is the process flow and it looks like a flow chart. Uh, we can see here it consists of different node uh, such as start node and this one we can see it uh, application node then mapper node and at end we can see uh, like it is end node. So our uh, let's start with our process. First of all, uh, like we will start. After starting, it will go to the application node. That is our source application. This application is used to fetch the record from our source. Uh, so, uh, so, so basically, this application uh, is used to fetch. Next, it will uh, like organize the data, uh, like which SAP accept the input. So this is the mapper node, which helps to organize the data and transfer uh, as per the SAP like accept. 
and uh, like uh, after that it get transferred to the destination the, and in our case the destination is sap ecc uh, we, we are also seeing like uh, mapper and slack this is because like uh, whenever an order is failed to sync or block uh, uh, like uh, whenever an order is blocked then this flow will get triggered by using this mapper and slack will sending the notification to slack application okay uh, so I primarily uh, actually what you're doing is uh, you are starting and getting new orders uh, from salesforce yes and yes, i yes. guess the mapper is converting that into a format that sap can understand and yeah. you're getting the order created in the third node or rather the fourth node and yeah. if there is any order uh, block um, you would want to inform that on slack so you have a mapper node in between which makes it uh, uh, easy for slack to understand that message right yes it will generate a notification for slack okay. perfect okay yeah uh, i will i would like to explain some of this node uh, mm -hmm. First, I will go with application node. Just I will give, give a short view for it, how we are going to like implement this node. Uh, we can see uh, we have node description, node type, uh, app version, protocol, schema. A schema is basically the object name from Salesforce. And uh, also we can configure filter based on our requirement and uh, yeah we have the last one is credential so we need to select so uh, no description we can give as per our uh, like uh, 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 requirements in this case order sync is going on so i am i have given it as a get new order from salesforce it is getting the new order and obviously this is the uh, like source application that is getting the record so ha we have selected get type and and in here we we are selecting the app version and uh, salesforce uh, accept uh, rest protocol so we have selected rest and in schema uh, uh, we are uh, using order because in salesforce uh, we have order uh, object so that's why uh, it is has been selected and in this we have configure filter be, uh, like uh, if that uh, uh, criteria meets then only it will uh, get the record from new uh, like uh, salesforce so, so uh, we are here for the application next i will go to mapper node mapper node uh, basically helps to do field mapping uh, here we can see uh, like uh, uh, at right side, we can see all uh, the destination fields and on left side, we can see the source field. So we can do a field mapping, what field value you want to say, uh, send to what field in SAP. So by this, we can do mapping. Okay, uh, so I think we are done with the nodes. Uh, so I, I will uh, start uh, like demo now mm -hmm. in order to demonstrate order sync i will create an order first in salesforce let us go to salesforce yeah we can see here this is uh, like an object in salesforce order uh, i'm creating a new order mm -hmm. so we have some of the required information that need to provide uh, like uh, account name i'm selecting name and we will give start date and the contract number. Yeah, we, we can also give other field value based on our requirement, what we want to get for now. I'm just giving uh, the address. OK. Uh, yes, I would also like to highlight this field. Uh, actually, this field uh, uh, like uh, will be empty at first when a, re a new record is created uh, here uh, in Salesforce. Uh, because when the order is synced to SAP, it will send a response back that is doc number, so it will get populated with that value. So we can we can uh, easily uh, have the respective. Um, like reference by using this, we can check uh, an order in SAP. And also like to mention, uh, I also like to 
mention that uh, uh, in my in this filter criteria i have give this field like i have given if the field value is empty then uh, a record should uh, fetch okay so it's going to only pick the orders where the sap number is not there uh, not there yes yes okay so i have created an order in salesforce uh, now coming to process flow now I will execute uh, this with runtime filter. Here we can see our process has been started. It has fetched uh, fetching the record from Salesforce. Now it is going to map up. Then SAP ECC. OK. Oh yeah, this has uh, the, this mapper and Slack has been triggered means the order is blocked and has notified to Slack. Now we will go to Slack and check the notification what we have received. OK, this is the Slack and uh, we have webinar channel and in this channel we can say uh, check the notification what we have received. So we can see that order has been filled with the uh, uh, like uh, order ID and the reason here. So okay. this is all about uh, the integration. Perfect. So for this purpose of this demonstration, we had actually kept an overall block on this customer so that the order fails. So thanks, Sakshi, for that. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, Sakshi, we have a few questions coming up. Um, and let's see if, you know, if we can take them up. The first question is that, Salesforce has governor's limit. How do you guys deal with that? Apsi Connect takes the records in batches, not uh, like uh, record wise. So by doing this, it can do more with the uh, lace API call. Uh, and sometimes we also do uh, like real time integration, uh, which has separate optimization. Great. Great. Um, the second question, Sakshi, is that SAP is such a complex system. How do you guys standardize the solution and how much time does it typically take to integrate SAP with Salesforce? Um, yes, I would like to answer this question. Uh, actually, SAP implementation varies, but uh, integration needs remain same. Uh, so our base solution caters to this usual needs. So, uh, Sometimes we also encounter like custom BAPI and custom object. Uh, uh, so by using this no code solution, we can typically reuse 70% of it. Um, yeah, and can do other customization pretty fast. And SAP integration takes two to three months to complete. Great. Uh, we have another one. Uh, oh. Like, um, yeah, what are some of the usual challenges that you come across in such integration? Uh, yeah, it is quite interesting. Like uh, the challenge is uh, uh, like basically we get uh, like uh, taking the uh, client environment access takes a while. Uh, and also while doing integration, we need to take care of data type. Uh, it is because like some, uh, for example, we can take uh, state in some of the ERP has different value and uh, the Salesforce has different value that may conflict. Uh, so we need to take care of the data type. Um, and also we need uh, like we uh, we should have some knowledge on epic code or sap in uh, like uh, customization that may impact the integration perfect so just to add uh, like as Sakshi mentioned sometimes it takes a while to get access to customers environment so that is one of our big challenge but once we get the environment and we see what customizations have been done in sap and salesforce it makes our life easy uh, mostly a base solution caters to a lot of uh, uh, scenarios already, but then we have to tweak the solution, so that takes a while. So yeah, thanks actually for that. Uh, we have another question. Um, usually we talk about system integration being done between two platforms. It's great that you showed three-way integration. Are your customers finding multi-stepped integration useful? Can you give some example? 
yes when working with uh, our uh, like uh, some of the recent customer uh, they want uh, uh, like notification whenever an order or opportunity is failed uh, in over slack or uh, teams uh, yes we not only send the notification but we want, we also generate the uh, error message uh, with approval button for instance action uh, this helps to uh, sort in time to end the life cycle of uh, like business transaction. Perfect. I can actually add one example. So there is a, a customer in nutrition supplement. Uh, they're based out of East Coast and they had Shopify integration with ECC. But they were getting some orders which were having like fraudulent cards on them. So they would want to, uh, you know, uh, they had a requirement to get notified as soon as any fraudulent order had been placed. So that is one place where we use a three-way integration as well. Uh, I think, Sashi, there are a few more questions coming up, but uh, I think we'll park them and respond to them offline. Thank you so much, Sashi. I hope it was really useful for our audience. Thank you so much. Thank you. Talk to you. Yeah, bye.